So um, it's a long video. I'm sorry. I'll try to cut it down. But if I can't, please try to understand. You need to watch this video beginning to end. You need to watch it so you learn. If you're planning to buy this stuff, um, yeah, I feel comfortable with it. I think it's going to work. Out. I'm impressed, you know, except for this part. I feel that I feel that this should not be left for us to do. It should not be. It's, it's too delicate. Hello, guys. Welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, and today we are um, trying out for the first time um, to balance the Sony FS5 on the June Crane 3S. Coming up. All right, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, please, I would appreciate if you subscribe and uh, like, comment, feedback is always appreciated. And now let's get into it. We already unboxed this, okay? If you haven't seen the video, check it out here. Um, now let's get back to where we were. I put this up again. Push this to lock. Push this to lock. It stays in place. All right. It's very easy to, to lock up. Just a tiny push, it's free. And a little push. It's, uh, uh oh, this is. Ah, oh, it's not going anywhere. Oh, this is the real lock all the way. Middle is like there's a little bit of allowance or clearance depending on how you want it, and this is all the way okay. So let's keep it locked, let's get a handle. Okay, something like this. I believe this is how we should have it. Then let's lock this again. All right, we have it locked. And I uh, hope you could get a glimpse of it. All right. And then this one. What do we have here? Okay, so this is locked now. Put it completely locked. And, and so is this and this. So we have it completely locked. It's all completely locked right now. All right, so let's get in the plate. Remember this has to be in front and get and uh, kind of ready for the follow focus. Slide this in, and uh, not bad so far. We're getting along. This looks like we have to pick it up to be able to slide in. Uh, this mechanism is for what? I see. Uh, lock. This is a little. okay. So, ooh, we have this thing coming out. We will need that, and I see a camera control button here. Yeah, so screw it up. Okay. So this is the furthest it can go. Now this hand is in the way. We really don't need it there. Um, but uh, we want it somewhere, so I'm going to have to take that out. Out. Mm. Careful not to pull out the wire when you do that. Okay, so we'll keep this guy on this side. There's a connection we can get and still have it somewhere here on this. So we'll work on that later, but for now, 
We'll do it like that. And now we lock this. Ooh. Can it go all the way? It feels really tight. Like it's gonna break if I push it all the way. Oh, I'm scared. It's, it feels tight though. Okay. Looks like it's not going anywhere. So that feels sturdy. I ain't got time. The letters are too small for the manual. I can't really see nothing. Oh, we just take it off. I guess I have to do make do with uh, road wireless go. We'll probably come up here. Let's take this out. Open up now. All the way. Um, this is in the way. Uh, how far can we go? How far the... Oh! <laughs> this is why you need that extension arm. We have to take, do some work right now. I'm sorry. Okay, this should be it. We got work to do. come off. Do we still have to take? Okay, I'll turn it around. Oh. Now you use this. There's a tiny screw in there. Wow. I wish they would just, as far as I'm concerned, they should have just uh, put in this arm already. And then, because anybody who wants to get this is really about, about cinema camera. So, you know, I think Zen should just uh, put this arm in there, let people, you know, take it off if they want to, you know, because this is why we're buying this. It's too much. We want to get it going. We don't want to do all this technical stuff. Is there a button I push? Button already, huh? Oh yeah, this one. Okay, so let's keep this guy in his position. It's looking like uh, let's say this is coming powered by Xeon. This is coming here. Oh, this might be coming in there. Let's take out the screws from the back. The tiniest one. Come closer. get lost. I don't like this. Um, yeah, I still have, I mean, I don't, I don't see a clear explanation online. There isn't any video. The only one just said, uh, this is where you take it off.
I guess that was to show me how. I guess if that was already done. But I wouldn't have known if that hasn't fallen. I would have been taking out more screws. So maybe the fall was for a good reason. This is what most people won't show you. This is why. But now you know. Is there, does this come out? It looks like it extends. The wire extends. I hope. Okay. I don't like this. All right. So please, we need bigger prints for for manuals, and I think. Uh, I think it's better to just put this arm, um, have it already installed. Get bigger um, pack if you have to. But uh, customers don't have to be going through this. We we'll bought this stuff for the cinema arm, um, for for our cameras, large cameras to be able to. The videos I saw on YouTube, they said it took five minutes. Yeah, right. It's not five minutes, bro. So we have this one in place now. Not bad. Not bad, but it could have gone another way. It could have gone sideways fast. And we have to tuck this thing back. And how do we cover the entire length now? We'll come to that, I guess. I wish I saw a video like this before, before I bought. Maybe I'm the one who likes the skills. Maybe you, you all, you guys know, you know, can just figure it out like that. But I, I'm very confident and very sure that there are people like me. It's surprising how these little screws can, you know, keep this thing so rigid. It's doing the job and it's really taking it in place, keeping it in place. Because we have this whole place exposed right now. So, how are we going to keep it? I don't like this at all. You pull this too much, you'll be in a mess. How do we suck it back in? It looks like it's going. Now this place is gonna stay open. That's cheesy. I don't see the latch if there's a latch. I know it's not fun to watch, but it's good you know what you're gonna be coming into. So if you have the skills, better bring it on. If you lose these ones, for those tiny screws, you have to contact Zion. No extra. There's extra of the bigger ones, but the tiny ones are the ones that are likely to get lost. Like we're good. Hopefully that does it. We have the arm extended now. Can we now go back to our balancing? Okay, so let's get back again. Let's do it again. Let's see how well we get it. Okay. Okay, let's keep it there. And these are different locks. 
Let's do this. All right. Okay, so let's balance this. This is down. Let's take this down a little bit. So now it's falling forward. We'll take it backwards. Still forward. Yay! Keep it there. And then lock it. Okay, hope we are good. Okay, it's in place. One down, so tighten here. Now maybe we can lock up. Come out. Yeah, this is better. So now it's falling this way. I can move it sideways a little bit. Maybe we can negotiate somewhere. Aha! Almost there. Oh, no. Too much. I didn't know you could do this. Open up. Almost. We're good, we're good, we're good. Lock it up right now. Okay, so after I locked it up, it started falling. So that's a little weight that moved this way. So I guess we'll fix that from here. Oh, let's try it, let's just try. Keep it straight from here. It's falling this way, we have to take it. This is what people will show you guys. Ah. Mm. Yes, first time working with this kind of system. It is totally different on the Moza Air. But I think, I think uh, it's not so bad. It's easy, it's easy, it's not so bad. If I do get it to the end, then I guess it's working, okay. So now, um, we got that balanced. This arm, so we got this on this side. Now let's try um, the tilt. So the row is okay. The row is okay, let's lock this up. Okay, that's locked. Now let's go to the work, 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 work. So the we've done tilt, we've done roll. Now let's do pan. And this is the one you want to have a tripod for. Mm. Okay. tripod which is also very solid but this should work how oh, well we're gonna take off the this one completely have it off okay so now let's uh, turn it forward
so it's going this way we'll bring it backwards pull this one backwards and look and see again let's try again that's pretty easy we're close just a little bit backwards let's try this now hmm, that's more let's go backwards okay so it's falling this way so we passed the limit so it's falling this way so we have to we still have to pull back to give more weight on this side is that too much? Yes, almost. Almost there. Hi, what do you think, guys? Looking good. We're almost there. Just a little bit. Pull back. adjustments I think we got it I think we got it I think we got it okay one more time forward just a little bit let me do a little bit hope I'm not pushing my luck too far tiny bit okay let's make sure the forward movement stays it's thinking about moving to the right when I take it backwards, I think this is, I think it can get better than this. And lock this axis now. Now that we got it right, let's lock this axis. So all the axes are locked. And then we lay it down sideways again, like a baby. Everything good? Yeah. And then get this guy off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a wrap over here. Let me bring this guy. And up on up. And yeah. Now we take off all the axes. We should be good with all the axes open. Should stay, still stay in place. But that's, that's looking good. I'm gonna power on. I'm gonna turn on the power. Now oh, this is the time to learn what. <laughs> this is the time to learn. Come to daddy. Get out of there. My God, I forgot about my coffee. Oh my God. I need it. Yeah, so you were trying to tell me something. Look up at Dada. Mm. Let's see. Let's get our picture on. Not so exciting. It's not a flashy video, but I believe it tells you what's going on, what is really going down. And um, when you get your unit, you need to be ready and don't fall into, you know, this whole mess that I went into. So I think it's I think it's a nice gimbal. I'm gonna try and take. Um, I'm gonna just step out a bit, a second, and 
see what I can take from front of the house here. On this level, if I succeed in getting anything reasonable, I'll let you see that. Um, yeah. For now, I got to say thank you guys for watching. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, join the family. Let's get busy.